Okay, so we've been talking a lot about slope, so today we're actually going to look at a real-world application of when you would use it. This is a picture of an actual roller coaster. It's called Millennium Force, and it's in uh, Cedar Point. It's an amusement park. And I want you to look at how I actually put the graph on top of the picture of the roller coaster. Notice that I put the x-axis even with the ground, and then I put the y-axis at the height of the roller coaster track. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to find the slope of both halves of the track. So we're going to start with this first part. Do you think the slope is going to be positive or negative? What do you think? Positive. Positive. Why? Right. Okay, good. So it goes up as you go to the right. So if I were to actually take my line and place it on top of the roller coaster track, like this, and then if I were to take two points on the graph paper itself, I could actually find the actual slope. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so how do you find the slope when you have two points on a line? What's the formula? Anybody remember? Samantha? It's x2 minus y, x1 over... Do we really start with x? Oh, y. Y, right. Okay, so what is it again now? Y2 minus y1. Okay. Over x2 minus x1. Okay, perfect. Now, does it doesn't matter which point is uh, y, x2, y2, or x1, y1, does it matter? No, right? Okay. So I'm going to call this point 1, and I'm going to call this one point 2. So who would like to go ahead and tell me what I should plug into the formula here? Evelyn? Negative 3. Uh, negative 3 over 2. Negative 3 Okay, so we've got two, let's go ahead and label these points, 1, 2, 3, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 3, 8, okay. And what would this one be? Evelyn? Good, okay. All right, so now that we have our points, let's go ahead and plug them in. So uh, actually it's not going to be 3. What would it be? What would be, this is point two, so what's y2? Samantha? Two. All right. And then what's y1, Samantha? Eight. Okay, good. All right, Victor, you want to tell me what x2 is then? Um, negative nine. All right. Minus, and then what's x1, Victor? Negative two. Good. Okay, so if we go ahead and do the math, you have two plus a negative eight, which is negative six, and then you have a negative nine minus a negative three, so this becomes plus plus. So it's negative 6, and then negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1. Kayla? 1. 1. Good. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and try to take the slope of the other side of the track. Does anybody see a difference between the slope of these two halves of the track? What do you notice about them? Samantha? That one's not straight. It's not straight. Exactly right. So what do you think would be another way that we could actually take the slope of that side of the track to figure out what it would be? Yeah? Split into different parts. Okay, excellent. And if we were to do that, we actually split the track into smaller segments. You could actually put the lines on the track like this, find two points for each of the different lines, get the slope, and then average them together. And that would give you a very pretty accurate idea of what the slope of this side of the track is going to be. Overall, is it going to be a positive slope or negative slope? Negative. negative slope, right, because it goes down to the right. So I want you guys to go ahead and give that a try right now, and then we'll go over it together.